Hey guys, welcome to week six in my build up to the Providence Marathon. Thank you for clicking on the video and giving it a watch. Um, yeah, today is Monday. This morning, it's the afternoon now. This morning, I did a short little run, just warm up for a lift that I did. Um, run was just like one mile. Um, and then for the lift, I did some single leg balance, which is really important for running. I think that single leg stability is key. Um, did some core routine, which is always great. Um, and then I did a barbell squat, which I don't do too often, most of the time, just because like it's full at the gym and people always want to use the barbell. Um, but it was free today, so I thought I might as well do it. Um, got up to like 135 for that. Um, did some quad raises, some weighted lunges. Weighted lunges are my favorite. I think any runner should always do that. I've mentioned that before. Best exercise. Um, and then what else did military press and, you know, kind of the usual and really just, you know, it was all right. But, um, my left hip was feeling pretty sore on my little one mile run today. I think I was definitely still feeling it from, um, that 17 mile run, a little dis delayed muscle soreness. Um, yeah. And so I'll have to see how I'm feeling tomorrow on Tuesday, because normally Tuesday is my workout day. I'm not going to do speed work if my lift, if my left hip is hurting. I just don't do speed work when I'm feeling sore because I don't want to get hurt. Um, regardless, tomorrow I'll try to get in 10 miles. Um, if I can get that all in in the morning, if I'm feeling good, that'd be awesome. If not, I can always double. And if I'm feeling good, I'll definitely do a workout. If not, just getting in 10 easy miles is totally fine. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for Tuesday. So also real quick, the goal for the week is to get similar mileage to last week in that 50 to 55 mile range. Um, and I think long run, I'll keep it at 17 again this week. Maybe try 18, but probably stick at 17 because that felt hard for me. And well, it still feels hard. You know, I have plenty of time to build up to 2022. 20, um, yeah. It's Tuesday morning, two and a half miles into my run. 818 pace right now. Um, at least you're feeling tired still, but I'm here at the Lebanon High School, and I think I'm going to do a little work on the track, if I can get in. Um, very informal, we'll see where it takes me, but try it some 1k reps, see how it goes. Track is unfortunately closed until April 1st, which I hate, like, it's a public school, just make the track public, but whatever. Um, so no 1k's today, sad, wanted to show you guys those. Um, I think instead maybe I'll just try to get in like a couple miles at marathon pace here on the flat loop. Um, yeah, I'll probably run like five miles easy first. That'll be the plan. I just ran a harder mile, I think 637. So I was hoping to do a little mile repeat-ish thing. It's just not my day. It's all right, it happens sometimes. Running's not always easy. You know what? I was like feeling a little bad at myself during the mile, but if I still get out here for a 10 mile run, I think it's okay if the workout doesn't come to fruition. Yeah. All right, just getting the miles in, all easy from here on out. It's all right. I'm right at 9.8 miles. I'm gonna end with just a couple of strides because I wanna get in some speed, but yeah. I got it done. Got it done. Alright, so not my best 10 mile run workout attempt ever, but I got it done. Um, you know, I did that one mile at 6.37. Um, and that was kind of a, a failed experiment, but then ended with some strides. And I guess strides for me are just about improving my form with running at high speed. It's about 15 seconds at what I would consider like maybe mile pace, um, maybe a little faster. So, but pace doesn't really matter. Just go out 15 seconds hard, but really focus on your form. And yeah, I, I do that sometimes really if, you know, I have a fail to work out and like, all right, I can't improve my fitness. So I'll at least try to improve my form, you know? Um, but yeah, <sighs> afterwards, just eating some oatmeal with some vanilla muscle milk, you know? And then some Greek yogurt. 
got to get in some protein and carbs after a run like that. And then, yeah, go to work, I guess. All right, I'll catch you guys later. It's Thursday morning. Just got done with a run on the treadmill. Yesterday, I also did a run on the treadmill. Easy five miles, around like 8.30 pace. Um, but today, I did 10 miles at, um, it was a progression run. Average had to be 7.45 pace, which I'm happy with. And the progression started at like 8.30, which is easy pace, and worked my way up to a marathon pace, which is like 6.49. Um, and yeah, it felt good. Right now, the heart rate's around 177 at marathon pace. Throughout my training, I hope I can get that down to like 170, 168, something like that, because I can't hold 177 for, you know, three hours. But, you know, hopefully I can hold 168, 170 for, for three hours, and I think that's doable. Um, but yeah. Yeah, getting some snow, maybe go skiing this weekend because we haven't had snow in a while, but that's about us on the treadmill today. I don't like to do long runs on the treadmill, but um, yeah, got got a little, little egg, just throw it on some toast, put some cheese on it for breakfast, burned about like 900 calories, so I got to put in at least 900 right now, which not easy in the morning, but yeah, all right, see ya. It's Sunday now, time for the long run. Less than ideal conditions. Um, on Friday, I just did an easy treadmill run. Then on Saturday, yesterday, I did a little skiing and did another like four miles easy run out in the snow. So that was slow and tough. Um, but yeah, today is no different. So yeah, the goal today was 17 miles again. Hopefully, I can get that in, but. I am not going to be able to get any pace work in because it is actively snowing right now and footing is not great. So it's just about getting it done. Kind of the story of the week, I guess. Yeah. This is like the best spot I can find right now. So I'm be doing a lot of loops. But yeah. Check in later. I'm like a mile in right now. I had to come inside for a shoe change. Going on the trail shoes. The conditions are bad out there. Um, hopefully I can get to 10 outside and then maybe switch to the treadmill. We'll see. Three miles in, like 8.15 pace right now. So I was not able to get to 10 outside. It was just coming down hard with the snow. It's actually still snowing and it's nighttime now. Um, but yeah, I did five and then moved into the treadmill to, you know, get a little bit of faster work in there, which is always good. After coming in um, to the treadmill a little early, I just finished 9.2 on the treadmill. Um, to three by one mile at marathon pace. And so I'm at 14 on the day right now. And I'm just gonna head to the elliptical because I'm sick of the treadmill. And also my hips are a little tight. So might as well do the elliptical for like 30 minutes to get the same effort as 17 or 18 miles. Hey guys, getting in some fuel after the long run day festivities with a nice 3 p.m. breakfast, you might say. Um, yeah, getting in some some home fries and pancakes. Got some eggs in earlier. Um, but yeah, I ended up doing 14 miles of running. Did like five outside, nine on the treadmill. Um, pretty snowy day out there today. Um, yeah, on the, the five was easy on the road. And then on the treadmill, I did three by mile at marathon pace, where I did like one mile at 6.58 pace, one mile at like 8 to 8.30 pace. Um, and yeah, that felt really good. Heart rate was at like 170, 168 on the marathon pace, which is awesome. Um, of course, marathon pace this time was 6.58, which three hour marathon pace is 6.51. But right now my marathon pace is like 6.58. Um, yeah, and then ended with 27 minutes on the elliptical with a heart rate that was, you know, right around 140 to 145, which for me is my heart rate usually around like nine minute pace. Um, and so, yeah, that equaled out to be, you know, around three miles ish, but I don't do like direct comparison. Um, yeah, so for around 17 miles of effort on the day. I guess I'll recap the, the training week real quick. 
Um, so I got a total mileage of 49.3 miles of running and seven hours and 41 minutes of total activity. Um, and yeah, it was not my best week. I, like last week it went really, really well and I was really happy with how that went. I was feeling high there. Um, but then this week was not great. Um, yeah, I felt really tired on my workout day on Tuesday, so I wasn't able to do a workout. Um, and then, you know, in the later half of the week, my left hip was a little tight, including in my long run today. I think it's you know, connected to my left IT band, which has given me problems before. Um, but I'm not hurt or anything right now, just some soreness. Um, definitely something to monitor. But, you know, I still got in a good week of training. And, you know, I got the mileage done, got close to 50. Um, definitely had obstacles, like this, both days this weekend, I had to run in terrible snow. Um, and then I had to run on the treadmill, and I'm not the type to do, you know, 12 miles on the treadmill. I'm not, not the biggest fan of that. Um, but yeah, overall, week's done. Moving on. Um, next week, we'll see how the mileage goes. Next weekend, I'm going away. It's like a, a log cabin. Um, so I'll have to see how many miles I can get in on the weekend. And because of that, I'm going to try to just get in as much easy mileage during the week as I can. If I can still be in that 50 to 55 mile week range for the next week, that's all I need right now. Um, yeah, and hopefully do one workout on Tuesday with the Upper Valley Running Club. We'll see. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's a recap of the week. I guess six down now, 10 to go until race. So it's getting a little closer. I'm um, still happy with where I'm at, but yeah, gotta, gotta take it easy. Don't push too hard. Got plenty of time to hammer in that marathon pace and get those long runs up to 22, 23 miles. All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and um, maybe share it with some people. And as always, keep on running.